CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister got to watch the rare celestial event with some South Florida students. She joins us now live from Lions Creek Middle School in Coconut Creek. Anna, what a great learning experience for those kids. Absolutely, Lauren and Elliot. All eyes were on the eclipse today. That is with these special shades on, of course. And we had an incredible afternoon with a sixth grade science class. And these students tell me this was an experience that they will never forget. What is our star called? Brooke. The sun. The sun. For Emily Johnson, one of the bright spots of her life is educating her students. I'm lucky, I'm grateful, and I'm just so hyped to be here. I'm really, really excited. Does anyone know anything specific about the sun? Miss Johnson is a sixth grade science teacher here at Lions Creek Middle School. And Monday, she hit a major milestone alongside her class as she taught them about the solar eclipse in real time. Can anyone talk to me about the colors of stars? With clipboards and pencils in hand, Miss Johnson's class watched all afternoon as the moon gradually covered part of the sun. What I've been writing on our paper is what we're seeing right now and like what we're observing on these glasses. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yes, these glasses were given to every student, allowing them to check out the eclipse as it was happening. It looks like a giant, like a giant banana. Oh my gosh, getting bigger. Administrators telling us they hope the hands-on or rather eyes-on lesson by teachers like Ms. Johnson will encourage the futures of these students. They are all about creating these real-world experiences for our students and, and really sparking that love of STEM fields such as this. Some students are already setting the sky as the limit for their future careers. I want to be an astro like an astronomer to to figure out more about stars in space. Others telling us the solar eclipse will be something they'll never forget. What I'm going to really remember is that I'm experiencing this with my friends and my teacher. It'll be decades before the next eclipse happens, but this lesson is one that these students say will shine in their memories for a lifetime. Definitely like one in a lifetime, and it's going to be really cool to see it in my future career in science. And the next eclipse is expected to happen in 20 years when these students are going to be in their 30s. Elliot Warren. All right, I'm marking down the calendar. We're yeah. going to see it too. Uh, here, it was hard to watch, Anna, because of all the clouds. How about where you were? Oh, it was absolutely incredible. Thanks in part, like I said, to these bad boys right here. <laughs> All the kids were able to see it. They said that it looked like uh, a cookie with a bite taken out of it. Another kid said it looked like a banana, like you saw in, in the package. So they had an excellent time. They learned so much. It was just a phenomenal day. Really, really special here at uh, Lions Creek uh, Middle School. You for were sure. rocking those bad boys, that's yeah. for sure. And I'm glad to see that the kids kept them on as well. Good listening skills. That's right. There we you like go. That. <laughs> Thanks, Anna.